Ooh, there's a spider on the snow. Morning. It is 5 a.m. and I'm just leaving the house for a early morning adventure. Uh, headed north to go hopefully shoot a little landscape photography and then maybe look for grizzly bears. So it's early. The, the forecast called for partly cloudy skies this morning so that's exactly what I'm after for some morning landscape work. See if we get a sunrise but it's still completely pitch dark. Got like an hour and 15 minutes before actual sunrise so I can't even see a sky I can see I can see that there's some stars up in the sky uh, so I know it's at least clear partly clear uh, but I have no idea what it's gonna look like when I get up there and that's kind of part of the deal for sunrise landscape photography at least where I am I need to drive a little ways before I can get to where I want to do photography, so I just have to hope the forecast is reasonably correct, and then I have to get up and go and hope for the best. So today's one of those days. I'll be hoping for clear skies to the east, and then I would like partly cloudy skies to the west, so that when the sun comes up, it's going to light up the clouds to the west over the mountains and give them some really nice beautiful color. I know it's a lot to ask, but that's what I'm asking for. So I made it to the top of Togedi Pass and looking back to the west, set up a tripod in the middle of the road, of course. Luckily, it's April in Wyoming and there's very little, if any, traffic, especially right at sunrise in the middle of nowhere. So I'll just shoot a few shots using some different focal lengths and some slightly different framings and then uh, decide which ones look best when I get home. way up here in the mountains of Togedi Pass and it's full on winter up here there's still a bunch of snow and people are still snowmobiling and uh, anyway I found an interesting composition with just a nice snow field with a single snowmobile track going through it and then the Grand Teton right behind it and it's really pretty so I'm gonna pull uh, pull over here on the side of the road and get out of my car and fine-tune the, the um, composition a little bit and I think it's going to turn out really good. I might do this one to black and white but I might not because it's really pretty blue sky. I'll, have, I'll look at it both ways and um, decide which one I like better. But, so I'm going to go do that real quick. It's really nice. All right, that worked out great. Um, I shot that one. The, the mountains are, I don't know how many miles away, probably at least maybe 15 miles away as the crow flies. And um, so I was shooting with a Fuji X-T2 with a 100 to 400 millimeter lens on it. So big telephoto lens, really compressing the scene and um, making those mountains uh, appear really big. I mean, they are really big, but. I think it's gonna be a pretty cool shot. All right, so I'm driving along and along the side of the road. That's what I find. Grizzly tracks, and they're going up that way, which obviously is super dense for us, so it'd be hard to find that bear, but uh, going across the road, you can see where it came out of the forest over here. And uh, 
just crossed the road and these look like maybe they happened yesterday. It's, it's hard to tell for sure. And so here are the grizzly tracks on the other side of the road. Looks like a pretty, I don't know, not a super huge bear. Its paws are bigger than mine hands, but um, anyway, so it came out of the forest there and then walked across the road. So that's uh, kind of what I'm looking for out here today. And so hopefully I'm going to keep looking for bears for a little while. The sun's out, the light's pretty. I shot some nice landscape stuff earlier. And now I'm hoping to get lucky with a bear. So this is a good sign though that at least there's there's a new bear that came out of hibernation and is at least in the area. Uh, that doesn't mean he's gonna come to the road or make himself visible, but it's encouraging. I'll keep looking. Ice is breaking up on Jackson Lake. And as I'm driving, maybe you can see out here. So it's really pretty. Right here is not a great place, but I'm, I'm heading to uh, a different piece of shoreline where I'm hopeful that uh, there's some patches of ice that I can get reflected mountains in. So I'm going to drive a little ways and look for a better spot to do a little bit of reflection in the water with some ice floating around. That's what I'm visualizing in my head at least. So I'm going to go look for it, see what I can make happen. All right, so I made it to this shoreline and it looks like there's a really nice spot down there. I'm gonna have to walk through a little bit of snow to get there. So I'm gonna put on my boots and get my gear together. I'm gonna go make a few photographs. It's really pretty right now. Sunrise light is long gone, but um, it's still very nice. And I think there's a good chance I could get some good, good black and white shot out of this but uh there's ice breaking up on the lake so and i'm going to reflect mount moran in that water where the ice is breaking up and i'll look for some foreground elements as well but i think it's going to be cool okay i'm going to bring a nikon d810 with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens on it um, throw that on a tripod <clears throat> And then I'm also going to bring a Fuji X-T2 with a 10 to 24 millimeter lens, which is wider. It's on a crop sensor. And I'm just gonna carry this one on a shoulder strap. And uh, that should cover me. So I've got everything covered from 15 millimeters to 70, which will be plenty for this situation. So let's go do it. I won't have to walk too far to get where I want to go. There's some really nice patchy ice. There's actually a really cool boulder down here that I'm looking at that I might try and work on a composition for. Could be tricky, but it's perfect patchy ice right here. Yeah, this is great. Check this out. That's what I'm talking about. I think I'm gonna have to just lay down on the water right there, but the snow actually goes over the water a little bit. So when I lay down right there, that ice moves just a little bit and it riffles that water. So I'm probably gonna have to lay down, let the water resettle, and then take my picture.
and I'm going to have to hope that that uh, little chunk of ice doesn't collapse into the water because then I'll get soaking wet. Okay, so the sun just came out on me. Uh, it's been out on the mountain, which is nice. And now I've got this uh, patterned ice and stuff right here in front of me. So now that that's lit up, it's got really nice texture. So I'm going to shoot that. I'd like to get really close to the ice and get close up, but it's hard because the sun is directly behind me. So my shadow is getting in the picture. So I can't get exactly what I want here. I'll keep trying, see if I can figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna walk over. There's a really cool boulder here. I'm not sure what I can do with it, but I'm gonna look at it and see if there's the composition here. The mountains are gorgeous, there's the boulder. I don't know if there's a good picture here or not. If nothing else, I'll probably do a selfie. Maybe of me sitting on the boulder. That might be kind of cool. I don't do many selfies, but it might work. All right, I don't do this very often, but I'm gonna set up my camera to do some interval, and I'm gonna go sit on that rock and take some selfies. Don't know why, but since it's there, I'm gonna do it. That was silly. Probably kind of fun. Goofy dude, what can I say? All right, let's walk the shoreline some more here. There's a chunk of ice sticking out out there. I'm gonna go check that out and see if that would make an interesting foreground. Hammer. Let's go. It's gorgeous. I bet at actual sunrise it would have been super fantastic today. But I was way up on Togety Pass and it was nice up there. But I didn't realize this uh, ice had broken up this much just in the last day, really. Ooh, there's a spider on the snow. I'm gonna try and get really close to the spider with my super wide angle lens. It's very odd. All right, I think I about worked that subject as much as I could. It's pretty cool though. Weird, huh? Another great day. I, I just love being out, even on days when nothing like exciting happens like no grizzly bear came right to the vehicle or I didn't find an owl or uh, I didn't get any shots that I know are gonna be epic but uh, it's it's so great to be out and I know I made some nice photographs too uh, and so yeah just a wonderful time and now I'm gonna head on home